What's Gucci YouTube? It's your boy Black and she got three long face, skinny body. Got no degree. Why? Because I'm still working on a party yard. You know, we'll be back with some more fire boards on anime, manga, content. Now, before we get into the video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the video with your friend, smash that like button, share the video with your friend, smash that like button. But let's get right into the business. You should see. Today a good day? Well, because if those of y'all really like diehard Boruto Naruto fans, such as yourself, such as, you know, Moan Black Uchi 3, you understand that English version of Boruto Volume 10 has officially been dropped. Why should I care? No, it's just that, man, it's like one of them ones because those mirages of chapters really focus heavily on, you know what I'm saying, the shit when we got Naruto and Sasuke versus Jigen Part 1, fresh after Naruto, you know what I'm saying, versus Delta, Kawaki popping up the horn just before Boruto pops up the horn. And so it's like, man, as of this point, right now, one of my favorite Boruto volumes, hard copy would be volume seven with the Kawaki on the cover art. Now, because that shit is hard. It got the Kawaki versus Baro fight. It got Konohamaru versus Kashikoji. Boruto Team 7, Konohamaru versus Al. All of that shit that we're going through with the anime right now. Basically, all that shit's in Boruto volume seven. So that's one of my hardest volumes. But I ain't going to lie to you, bro. Volume 10 is going to be one of them ones. As of now, on my, you know what I'm saying? path throughout the hard copies i am currently on volume eight you feel me you feel me with my, with my baby on the front you know what i'm saying she out here looking bad so you know i gotta finish up one chapter before and then i'm gonna start picking up this i'm not really in a rush because obviously i've already read the chapters but it's always a better feeling you know and not a better feeling necessarily to each his own whatever floats your boat you know what i'm saying whatever tickles your nick you know for me personally looking at the hard copy pause but you know what i'm saying in my face and all that shit, it's, it's, it's good but anyways boards of volume 10 is out but Boys, so chapter 55, this is like, it doesn't have anything to do with volume 10, because right now, people are really, really, really scurrying the internet, trying to figure out when this man, Kishimoto, is going to implement Boruto's time skip. And the way things are going, by chapter 60, we're going to be introduced. I'm saying, when I say by chapter 60, I mean, definitely, it can even be before. So maybe by chapter 56, 57, 58, 59, but definitely by chapter 60, Boruto and his said group of friends, Sara, Mitsuki, Shikarai, you know what I'm saying? All of them niggas, you know, everybody, they're going to be 15, 16 years old, 17 years old, ready to start making moves. You know what I'm saying? Like how niggas came up in Shippuden, and I definitely see it coming by chapter 60. We already had word and confirmation from the creator that the time skip um, will be actually soon, sooner than what most people actually think. Now, and not necessarily the time where we see 16-year-old Boruto, 16-year-old Kabuki face and all. Aside from all of that, man, why do I believe that we might be entering a time skip because right now we're gonna be in a crazy ass weird period for you know what i'm saying italy village because right recently they were missing their hokage now not too many people if you ain't had that much clout if you ain't really know what was going on anybody understood like yeah this nigga naruto had got washed and manhandled by jigen put in the hospital you know what i'm saying sasuke got put in the hospital naruto was gone for a minute probably like a day max you know what i'm saying shit like that nobody really figured out uh that was the case now after this second fight we see sasuke looking at naruto at the end of the fight and we understand basically the way ninjas analyze any type of situation and just look at everything sasuke still has a shiny gun we see the uses that it has obviously then get whipped out Matsuratsu. he whipped out all these fire style jutsus you know what i'm saying last chapter without his running gun and shit with his shiny gun he's still able to decipher see the picture of you know chakra as a color and shit like that so let's not forget all these things that sasuke has regular base sasuke he's just looking at naruto after the fight's over and he's completely shocked now it can be where if it was like naruto's just flat out dead they would have relayed the message and the expression across sasuke's face much more clear because sasuke initially looks at naruto you know what i'm saying and he's like all right it's cool he walks up to naruto he gets close to naruto he gazes at naruto and then he's like yo what the fuck is going on and i'm pretty sure those y'all who watched my initial chapter 54 review one of the things that i stated was that i personally believe that naruto is actually has entered into a coma and it might be a case where he might not even wake up who knows until boys who are sorry no niggas are going to be 16 17 years old so possibly this is like a safe way to write naruto out of the story without ultimately killing this nigga off which we know that niggas been scared shitless since day one since it was like manga panels dropping of kabuki versus boruto 16 years old back in 2016 niggas like yo who the fuck is this fucking naruto sasuke clone trying to kill naruto so 
this can be the route that they're taking in order to, you know, properly write Naruto out the story and also have a way to bring him back because, you know what I'm saying, they can just look at it, well, why would Sasuke be that, you know what I'm saying, freaked out if Naruto's just in the coma, he just be like, well, this nigga ain't waking up, let's just get him back, get treated and shit like that. He can basically see Naruto, you know what I'm saying, see Naruto right there everything and we also understand the difficulties and you know what i'm saying the decision making that came with naruto choosing to go into that barrier mode with kurama after kurama's explanation with the possibility the high possibility without a shadow of a doubt of one of them dying um if one of their life force runs out or if both of their life force runs out but we understand that this nigga ishiki also forcibly took these niggas out of that barrier mode rather than having you know either kurama's life run out or naruto's life run out but right before naruto passes out he says something real interesting like his whole entire body feels like lead and tied back into the novel time and time again throughout the naruto series throughout the boruto series we also know that they are famous for implementing you know what i'm saying the naruto novels into the anime whenever the fuck they feel like it. and i'm pretty sure i already said this but like i said just to make sure just those y'all who don't even know what the fuck i'm talking about for instance is like at the end of naruto shippuden when we see the sasuke sheet and shit and then we see the shikamaru sheet and shit you know what i'm saying basically with sasuke versus the uh girl Girl with the tetsuya gun you know what i'm saying he's trying to figure out all of this other shit and he has cool moments where he comes across the right kage you know basically just a couple years after the fourth grade ninja war and then we go on to shikamaru uh she didn't shit where him you know Sai go on this little secret mission and shit like this trying to figure out all the other stuff you know they implemented that into a completely different time frame in anime now in the novels them niggas was actually much more older you know what i'm saying i say even more closer to boruto's uh era during that time but in the anime them niggas were literally still teenagers probably just came from fighting kage seven and a half months ago so what's to say you know in the time frame in the novel where naruto is suffering from this chakra illness we have already passed that time in the anime because you know it's in a kind of like a die down cool off period obviously after the momoshiki uh versus shit but definitely way before you know what i'm saying the main things that happened with my nigga ishiki and jigen and shit like that because spoiler alert obviously by the end of the novel sasuke sakura kakashi they figure out a cure for naruto's chakra illness and he doesn't die wait now i'm saying all of this because they can basically they referring to the anime and obviously kishimoto himself can find a way to implement all of that good shit that happens in the sasuke rest of the novel and implement it now into the boruto manga with sasuke figuring out like looking at naruto like shit because we understand one of the main things that was on sasuke's mind is like what is he going to be able to do if he's not able to save naruto he's willing to do everything you know what i'm saying he's on the journey by himself he has a whole lot of coming to jesus moments uh he has a whole lot of reconciliation moments just revolving around itachi revolving around sakura and of course revolving around naruto and just thinking about how everything he's been through brought him to where he is right now and it would be a really amazing way like i said for them to implement that story into boruto's anime and manga because honestly that whole naruto was dying thing i was like yo what the fuck is going down because it was just right around the time with naruto versus delta and i'm like yo this nigga's out here boxing in six pass mode which you mean he's dying and shit like that so they can take it out of the timeline and where it'd be like well naruto now has a chakra illness and in the novel, it's just described as is due to the tail beast, something that the Sage of Six Packs awful suffered from, and they will figure out how the Sage of Six Packs was able to heal himself. And basically, that's what the entire novel was about. Now, they can go about that same way and then implement another arc, basically, just before the time skip, where it's basically the novel where Sakura, you know what I'm saying, Kakashi and Sasuke respectively go all on their separate missions in order to find this cure this and he'll you know what i'm saying this nigga naruto and then we have boruto kawaki you know what i'm saying the next generation dealing with the whatever they have to deal with in a sense now the only flaw that can be in that theory is the fact that we see what this nigga momoshiki is able to do nobody's gonna leave this nigga boruto by himself so that's the only thing and that's why i'm falling more towards naruto is in a coma they might keep this nigga in the hidden leaf hospitals under the best tech and just keep that nigga under the bed until he finally opens up an eyelid you know what i'm saying get this nigga fooled through the nostrils or through the earlobes or some shit how the fuck they do it in the icu definitely believe you know what i'm saying like if it was going to deal with the chakra illness naruto would be so much of a focal point that they will automatically have to brush off all of the shit that we just went through with you know what i'm saying well they basically just gave us the spill like this nigga kaoki still karma still no karma still he's 80 percent otosuki boruto 80 percent okosuki now we know that nigga momoshiki can take over his body of boruto's ever low on chakra so boruto just needs to be up on chakra all day every day and i really really like and i'm just implementing this part in there really quickly but i really like the fact that it isn't one of that typical trope where you know the mc has this power inside of him he can't control it he rages the power is trying to take over him where it's simple you know what i'm saying yeah obviously the power is otherworldly the power is godly but the mc boruto in this case 
is able to control that shit easily as long as he has all of the chakra that he needs you know what i'm saying ain't no shit now i understand it could be like seen as some bullshit where like this nigga momoshiki is too strong to be able to be controlled by boruto you know but you know the science and the fact that it's fucking fake in the anime you know what i'm saying it's boruto's body so i just like the fact that they didn't make boruto struggle in order to keep consciousness when momoshiki is also in control whether it sees the differences just where it's like literally half and half where momoshiki only has small instances and small opportunities to take advantage of boruto where this nigga out of con uh chakra and shit like he can't take advantage of boruto whereas with naruto whenever naruto get mad sad or angry and shit like that kurama's like oh yeah you finna make me act up my nigga nah it's not the same case with momoshiki so i really like that they implemented that but having the whole entire shit focus on naruto's chakra illness like it would in the novel it's just so much shit that goes down inside of that novel that like you don't even have time to talk about the shit that just happened with Momoshiki taking over Boruto's body. The shit that just happened with Kawaki stomping the shit out of Ishiki's head and sending that nigga to the dirt and shit like that. And not only that, but also and kind of seem forced in order for them to do that and then go right into a time skip and then act like, oh, you know what I'm saying? We was always focused on Momoshiki. Now, if they find a way to flesh everything out and mix it perfectly well, which I believe they can, but I believe that this wasn't really in the plan book to go about it that way. So like, like I said, Naruto being in a coma right now, Sasuke looking at this nigga, he can see this nigga, he probably senses something weird with this nigga chakra, or maybe he doesn't even sense Kurama's chakra and only senses Naruto's chakra, or normally, cause like, it's just different, you know what I'm saying? Whatever Sasuke normally senses whenever he looks at Naruto, that nigga ain't sensing that shit, so let's just say that. And most likely this nigga Naruto is out for the count, and they're gonna have to figure out a way now Next chapter, Boruto's gonna send these niggas back to the Hidden Leaf Village. Sasuke's gonna have to come up clean on a report. Shikamaru's about to become Hokage. Rock Lee's about to become the second strongest ninja in the village. Uh, well, if we're not talking about, you know what I'm saying, Boroshiki. But, damn, like, it's just a whole lot of shit that's really going down right now. And, bro, it's just too much to focus on. So, like I said, if it's a coma, if it's the chakra illness, either way, the way that the shit is going right now is heating up and it's looking really lit. Now, Boruto time skip definitely coming soon, like I already said. They just have so much, you know what I'm saying, to close out on, on part one. And well, by that, what I mean is just, like, basically give us, like, a uh, 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 update you know obviously the whole shit the video is about this nigga naruto give us an update like what's going on with his chakras what's going on with kurama you know what i'm saying uh with the sasuke you know what did he come into realization when he looked at naruto's body you know what i'm saying let's give us an update with how boruto and kawaki are going to be progressing you know what i'm saying are they still going to be on good terms throughout the time skip you know what i'm saying versus how we see them niggas episode one and chapter one are they still going to be on good brotherly terms what is going to be the ideology clash that happens because i believe not one is evil or one is good i just believe it's just ideals clashing on some shit like attack on titan pick your side hashtag fuck gap yo it's really going to be like that and then they also have to give us touch-ups on my nigga code what's going on with code of the tentacles we already seen in the anime from my anime only who watch this video you bold as fuck but in the anime they gave us extra little details and information where Jigen Ben gave this nigga Cole the job to be in charge of the Ten Tails. It was just like, that was like his daily task. Cole never really wanted the job. In the manga, we see he's always saying this shit is boring. In the anime, he's like, yo, I'm trying to handle the motherfucking traitor. So they got to give us an update on that now in the motherfucking manga. They got to give us an update on my nigga Kasha Koji. You already know that for a fact. Because I'm trying to see what the fuck. Like, where did he go? Most likely to Mount Miki Bokyo. He was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to need Sage Mode times two. But then he's going to come back empty revenge. Because he's going to be like, yo, this nigga Shiki's already dead. So... It's just so much, man. It's just so much. And then it's just like leading into the time skip. It's like, where else can you take the story? I mean, it's obviously there's so much more. Otsutsuki invasion or like just the Otsutsuki lore expansion, more characters and shit like that. But like, you know what I mean? Like, where else can you take this fucking story? It's your boy Black and Chia, they long face skinny body. Boruto chapter 54 was extremely fire, extremely famous. Boruto chapter 55 is highly anticipated, highly looking forward to that chapter. What do y'all believe Naruto's whereabouts are currently? Uh, do y'all think he's dying? Do you think he is dead? Do you think he's in a coma? Do you think it relates to the chakra illness that he suffered from in the motherfucking novel? And how do y'all think they're gonna be approaching the time skip if it will be anytime soon by chapter 60? Like, I believe it's your boy Black with Child 3, long face, skinny, potty, got no decree. Why be home so working on that part? Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, smash the video, share the video with your friends, leave your thoughts on the video, and thoughts on the upcoming events in the Boruto manga. Holla, drama, holla, y'all, Black Child, yes, sir. Hey, can we take a trip to the sky? Show them that our limits too high. Talk about the hips on the west side. She said,